Hey guys, what's up? My name is Matt Gondek. I live in Los Angeles. I'm a pop deconstructive artist. So I've been drawing my entire life and uh, I really started uh, because of comic books and video games and cartoons. Uh, I used to just redraw X-Men comics all the time and then I found out about Spider-Man and I get pretty much your, your the most famous comic books are the only things I could get where I'm from. I grew up in the country in Pennsylvania. So like I could just get X-Men and Spider-Man and Batman and Superman and stuff like that. So that's, you know, I started out, you know, I remember being like five or six or seven just drawing the X-Men over and over, and that's pretty much all I did. That's kind of all I still do. I didn't really pick X-Men because of any particular reason. It was just the fact that I was a young kid and I really liked the, the action and, you know, the violence. And I liked how they all, all had different superpowers and it was just really cool to me. And there's really no particular reason I picked that one. Yeah, I really gravitated toward Marvel. I never really liked DC. Uh, the only thing I was super into was like when Bat, or I'm sorry, Superman died uh, from Doomsday. Like whenever Superman fought Doomsday, I was all about that. But that was like literally the only thing I ever cared about DC. So I've been a full-time artist now for about seven years. Uh, I used to work at a call center, and uh, once I finally got to quit that. I started doing freelance illustration for um, a lot of just clothing brands, a lot of musicians. Uh, I did a lot of stuff for Hot Topic for years, like uh, you know the big wall of all the black goth metal t-shirts. I did like, hundreds of those. Um, and you know, I did that for about five years, and at the time it was a means to an end. Like I didn't really want to be drawing something and putting another person's name on the artwork, like you know, the band name. But I, it was cool because I didn't have to work at the call center anymore. You know, I could support myself. Um, and then, you know, as I did that longer and longer, I started to just get really burnt out by doing that. And I always, like I said earlier, I really like to, to draw the X-Men or Super Mario or just things that already existed. And, uh, you know, I've been doing it for so long, the, I started to just kind of break the characters apart, pull them apart. And so what I do now, like my whole exploding heads, the, the melting stuff, it's just like a natural, progression of just an entire life of, of doing this kind of stuff. Uh, there's not really any particular cartoon I, you know, I'm more, more in love with over anything else. Like, you know, nowadays, like, I, you know, I loved pretty much everything on Fox Saturday mornings when I was a kid. I loved the Nicktoons. But, you know, it's, if I watch that stuff now, it's just more like a nostalgic kind of thing. Like, I don't really, I'm not really in love with that stuff as much as I used to. You know, like the cartoons I watch now are just like the ones that are convenient, like you know, like Family Guy or South Park or The Simpsons. Um, if there's any one standout, anything like comic book, video game, cartoon. Uh, so, like I said earlier, I grew up, you know, with the X Men and everything. And there was this magazine called Wizard, and I must have been like 14, and uh, there was this ad, or it was just like a little blurb about this comic called Scud the Disposable Assassin by this guy named Rob Schraub. And uh, it's about this little, goal. basically it's in the future and say you want to kill somebody, so you put a quarter in the machine, this, this little robot guy comes out, he'll go kill the target and then he blows up. And that's like the basic premise of the comic book. I was like, all I saw was just a picture of Scud and this wizard. I just thought it looked really cool. So I ended up having to get these comic books special ordered because I lived down the middle of nowhere. So once I started getting them, that was my first taste of, uh, I guess like an independent publisher or just like a really small team or just one person making something that wasn't a big company like Marvel or DC or like Fox. And that was the first time I realized like you can be your own person and do something without having to work for a company. And that really, I mean, that comic book to me was the best. Like it was over the top action. It was, you know, kind of dirty. I just fell in love with it like immediately. And to this day, like I still have all of them and I still read them all the time. So that's like the one standout thing. So uh, the studio I'm in now, we're, we're in downtown Los Angeles, and I've been here since September. And up until that point, like, I mean, like I said, I've been doing this for seven years. Seven years ago, I was doing 100% client work. And even this time last year, I was probably doing 70% client work, 30% my own thing. But uh, when we got into the studio, I made the constant decision that I'm, I really don't want to work with other people. I want to do my own thing and just see how that's going to go. 
So, you know, I would say, you know, every once in a while, like I'll cherry pick a company or someone really cool wants to work with me, like a clothing brand I really like, or there's a really cool opportunity to do a line of skateboards for somebody. And I will do that. But, uh, you know, the days of me just like putting my name on anything are over. Like I'm really trying to push my own artwork now.